Hello everyone and welcome back to the virus box once again. We're here today with another DOS virus. It's been a little while since I've recorded, but right back to the swing of things with another virus. So if we do a direct listing here, oh sorry, you'll be able to see that we're today we're taking a look at the casino DOS virus, which goes from the full name of virus.dos.casino. So let's check my date here to make sure I'm not on the activation date. Nope. Oh, I'm on I'm in not nine nine five apparently. <laughs> so it activates in April on April fifteenth, which is would be we'll set this to there so it won't activate. So what Casino was supposed to do, I believe it's the fifteenth. Yeah, see so we run we ran it and we got the Hello Copyright SNS International nineteen ninety, which would be the GOAT file that Casino has infected. What Casino was supposed to do is it attempts to destroy the FAT, if you don't know what that is, that'd be the, your file allocation table, which basically what that does is it tells your computer where to go to look for certain information. So if I remember correctly, the file allocation table points to the MBR, which is the master boot record, which is saves all your boot data and everything, everything important. Which, um, that might be backwards, it might be the MBR points to the file allocation table. But, I can't exactly remember, that's not the point of it. But, due to a bug in this, uh, in this, uh, sample, sorry, uh, it will not do that. It usually seems to let your thing go. So, if we change the date to the 15th, and then we send a, just send a control delete, as the computer will restart, and then on infected file execution we should get its payload. It's a disk destroyer, a souvenir of Malta. I have just destroyed the fat on your disk. However, I have a copy in RAM and I'm giving you a last chance to restore your precious data. Warning, if you reset now, all your data will be lost forever. Your data depends on a game of jackpot. Casino de Malta jackpot. As you can see, if you can manage to pull up three of the, I believe, pound symbols, you get your disk back. If you pull up three question marks, you get his phone number. So, we'll press the key here and see what we get. Nothing. 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 Nothing again. So, pop this message. Ha ha, you asshole, you've lost. Say bye to your balls. Now, of course, so if you saw this payload in general, you'd be thinking, oh gosh, what's happening? But now, of course, the sample doesn't work properly. So now you see uh, the computer's it's been hung, it's frozen. Let's send a control delete to restart again. And it should, as it's done the last time I tried this, boot straight back into DOS. So if we run it again, we'll see if we can actually get the, our disk or the phone number one. We'll try this a couple times, not too long though. <coughs> Something I'll, I'll talk a bit bit about here is um I've been experiment experimenting a lot lately with uh, a program called Family Tracker, which is uh basically create tape bit music. And if you guys like to see like me to make any songs or anything, uh I've been working on a couple for my for school and stuff. If you guys would like to hear it, to, to see them or anything, just post in the comments below and I, I guess I could upload it here. I mean it's not that special, it's not even that good really, but if you guys want to see where it is then it's fine with that. If you don't that's alright as well but mm. see it's quite decently hard to actually pull this. I've managed to actually beat this before and get it to and actually I've managed to win the slot machine before, which I may I may pull up a photo of it. In the video I'll cut it a little bit, maybe pull up a photo if I can't get it to work in the next few next few tries. But we'll keep going for a little bit. See still nothing. It's very difficult to pull it up. Just like in a real casino. But we'll keep trying for a bit and see what we can get. Well, nothing once again. Just wait for this to boot up again. Casino. We'll give it. We'll give it three more tries. If we can't get by then, then we'll just end the video here. I'd like to. I'd like to be able to show you guys the payload for it, but it doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to work. Nothing I can really do about it. No. Right. 
you know, one night I just decided, I was like, I want, I want, I want, I decided, uh, sorry, that was jumble of words. I decided, let's see if this, you can actually win this, and I tried it, and I managed to win it. Oh, I got it! Bastard, you're lucky this time, but for your own sake, now, switch off your computer and don't turn it on till tomorrow. As you can see, there's the three pound symbols on the screen. So, if the virus worked properly, it would save your data and you would be safe again, once again, till April 15th. But, you're, but, where, um, if you would, were to turn your computer back on again, any infected file would display the casino payload. And be right back into it. We'll try once, see if we can get the three question marks. No. Alright. <coughs> Oops, sorry. I'll just, um, give a quick check here at one little thing. Just so I can, I can read you guys the payload from what, uh, the message from what the question marks say. I'm just, just really quick, sorry, I should have had this set up. Sorry. <coughs> Right. If you manage to pull up pull up three question marks for his phone number, he says, No fucking chance, and I'm punishing you for trying to trace me down. So basically if you manage to pull up the three question marks, you would receive the same payload as if you did not pull anything in the five pulls. So that's about it for the casino DOS virus. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions for another virus, I'd love to see them in the comments below. Any certain viruses on any um things. Nothing new, though. I like to take some old stuff. But, thank you guys for watching, and, um, bye!